Are we on a pack of catfish here or what? I think so, <laughs> I think so or a drum. Yeah. Looks like our crappie fishing day is turning into a catfish day. Whoa, whoa. Oh, I got one too. here on Oolagaw Lake with my buddy Jerry Starkey. Now, Jerry ain't just any ordinary Jerry. Jerry's in the know. I want to be in the know. And I know you want to be in the know. So let's find out what this guy knows real quick. That's a brush pile loaded with fish. Now as I zoom in, we're, we're looking out at 50 feet right now. As I zoom in, it's going to get to 20 feet and this is where I like to fish at is 20 feet and I lock my bottom in you can you can go up or down this is the bottom but I like it a little bit higher so this is your bottom this is brush and everything glowing dot is fish um, there's gonna be a lot of little ones and there's gonna be big ones mixed in there you just can't see because of all the clutter all the little ones mm -hmm. but, um, so anyway this is zero okay this is where the poles at this pole right here is like shining a mag-like flashlight underwater. Anywhere, if you can picture me with a handheld flashlight underwater, anywhere I'm turning this, it's like uh -huh. shining a flashlight. It's got a two-foot beam. Uh -huh. So if you're left or the right of the beam, you're not gonna see your bait on live scope. Yeah. So you wanna be directly in line. So if we pitch out, you wanna pitch out like a, an arrow coming out of this. Yeah, thing. in that direction then. And so. most of my clients, the problem is they say, I can't see myself, I can't see myself. And, uh, you know, this thing's aimed this way and they're fishing over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's the big problem. If you haven't guessed by now, we're going to be doing some crappie fishing. And I've seen a lot of his posts on Facebook and they catch the crappie. And I want to learn how to catch crappie. So I'm going to learn today a lot. I think when we're done, you're going to learn a lot more my hat says crappie. <laughs> like an old man, crappie. Yeah, I'm gonna have me a crappie hat. <laughs> I got fluorocarbon up here, mm -hmm. tied on the braid. The reason is, it's a stiffer, it's just kind of stiff. That braid is like spider web. Mm -hmm. And it just wraps around and tangles. Yeah. Your shot, it, it won't, it'll slide up and down that braid. Mm -hmm. And this is clear, and I think it helps, but that's what we're gonna be using right there. Um, See what happens is that shot's so heavy mm -hmm. when you throw in this thing floats around with braid because this is lighter mm -hmm. and especially with the, the buoyancy of the minnow and it just it just tangles up. That's 14 pound test fluorocarbon. But we run a, a, a shot and a, um, a jig or minnow and that way you can differentiate. They both move together and it doesn't get mixed up in all the clutter. You can always tell where you're at. Let's see if that guy comes over and hits us. That's a shad. Oh, is it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He's jacking with me already. And we might catch some catfish today. We usually catch a couple. Go on down lower. Just go ahead and all the way down. Now, get him. Jerk. Start, start lifting it up slow. Oh, he hit it, and I can feel that. Start lifting it up, see him follow it. Yeah. Coming up. Yeah. He went away from it. All right, let's get it back down there for him. This is interesting. You don't ever really want to stop coming up with it. Mm -hmm. Those crappie, once they see it, they are gonna look at it. And they may or may not hit them 90% of the time. They ain't going to hit it. But once you start pulling it up slowly, 
they're going to turn on a 45 and here they come mm -hmm. and and you're and people have a tendency to stop because he's getting close that fish is going to turn and go back down mm -hmm. keep it coming use it you can only lift so high with your arm and then you're not going to have enough stroke to set the hook mm -hmm. so it's it's a it's a wind so i'm going to put it out right here this is going to be on the very edge of the pile and, uh, and my min is my min is going to be up the top. I'm going to stop it. Now my min is falling down. I'm going to start coming up. See him follow me? Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's following me. And right there. There we go. A little bit. There's some big ones in there though. But they want it coming up. Cool. But that's how you do it. Is uh, and you get hung up all the time. But this small wage, uh, small wire. On that hook, we'll straighten out so you don't actually lose it. Let me tip your jig. All right. I try to pitch. There you go. Oh, I pulled it out when he was biting on it. Now I'm just used to throwing bobbers out, and then once they bury the bobber, you're ready to go. You know. <laughs> <laughs> this is finesse fishing in a way isn't it it is it's a, i call it technical fishing it's more technical than, than a, when a pole loads up grabbing it you know it's, it's small i'm gonna try to do whatever to keep him from biting until i can see to get the bigger one after me there you go well, i That's think he's nice a decent one. Yeah, oh that one. <laughs> well, last time I had this problem, it was a make sure that hooks hooks a bent. little bent out. Yeah, it happens on these small jigs. There we go. Super glue, and I put them on there, and it actually holds pretty good. Pretty good. Man, look at all this fish. You're tapping me. Good one. Good one. Oh, yeah. If you feel like you don't want to, you can throw out there and you might. I might try it on my next one to see what. You see got it. one chance at them though. It'll be a, it'll be a up, and they won't mouth it like they will with. Uh, so I'm gonna throw out there and give her some slack. They won't mouth it like they will with a minnow on there. They'll hold on to it more. You're fine. Yeah, I just I'm holding my, ooh, holding my rod tip in the skylight. Ooh, nice fish. Look at that one. Look at that monster. Wow, uh -huh. that is a beauty. I'm gonna catch his buddy. Nice one. I figured out that there's thing, three things in order. First is the presentation, the way you present it to the fish, whatever you're presenting. Second is the size of what you're presenting. And then the third is the color. Easy there, Hoss. That's out there. Well, there's some fish on that one there. Over here? Mm -hmm. Get out of the way there. It'll be out of your way pretty quick. Oop. Maybe. Let me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, fine fishing skills I got there. <laughs> oh, got a feels like a good one. Ooh, that's a big one. Oh boy. Big uh, fish of the day right there. 
don't know if he's as, I don't think he's as big as that one you got, but he is a dandy though. Nice fish. Yeah, double nice fish here. This is more of a visual aid. It's not necessarily a... You can do the same thing without it, but it lets you know how you're pulling your baits. Oh, look at that one. This is a heavy one here. Come here, fella. Come here, come here, come here. There you go. Well, let's see what these fish are. These are usually, most of these fish here, are, well, these are 10 inch fish. Mm -hmm. Throw them back. Zach, uh, with advanced angling, he, he's, he's fishing for sand bass every day right now. He's the one that could put you on a bunch of those. Oh, yeah. He uses, uh, he used, live bait yesterday which is not his norm he usually uses slab spoons and um I, oh man i'm gonna yank down my hand that's sand bass see there he pulled my britches down <laughs> No, we was up. Uh, we was up in uh, Colorado Springs uh, a couple of weeks ago, I guess. Right. And uh, the day we was leaving, we had a bunch of those bighorn sheep. Oh yeah, I seen your pictures. Come, yeah. come I saw it. Crazy, these things coming down like that. Yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, that looks like a good one. Oh. He's about 11 foot. Whoops. And a uh, the couple of them ain't too hard to get. But the, uh, the desert and the bighorn, oh, that's a heavy one here. Nice one. Better one there. Nice one. Oh, there's a good one. Oh, nice one. That's a nice one. I think that is the biggest one there if it ties that first one of yours. He flipped her right on out, didn't he? Boy, that's a beauty, man. Nice one. Way to go, Jerry. Thank you. Oh man, what is this? There you go. Oh, you catfish? Yeah. <laughs> we'll get him in unless What do we got here? We got something a little bigger than normal. I just don't want them to straighten their hook out. So I'm gonna run my drag. We at least gotta get a look at you. Yeah, come on. We'll get out of that brush. Let's look at him on live scope. Where's he at? He's still way down deep. Where's he at? He's under the boat. There he comes. There he is. There he is. Right there, whatever he is. Oh, he's, he's hey, fighting for his look life. Look at him go, man. Oh, Jerry will turn him loose, so he might as well just let yeah. him. All right. All right, what do we got here? Oh, big, you know, just old channel cat. Nice size channel cast though. I feel like it's 10 pounder <laughs> on these crappie rigs. Well, that ain't something when you're on a crappie rig. There it doesn't take much of a cat fish to give you a fight, does it? No, they do. You follow Gus Jones? Yeah. Um, you know, I, of course, I see every, I, I go on that Oklahoma catfish report. Oh, yeah? Uh, all the time. And uh, just see, so you, you know, he's, he's all he's on. always posting on there. I didn't know the legalities that some of these YouTube or some of these Facebook deals they get mad at you, like no guides advertised, you know. Like, yeah, there's been some that uh, the, some of those guys they they get fussy about if you do it over a once a week or something like that. And but it's just members. It ain't it ain't the. I don't think the. Uh, administrators having the problem with it so i started my own the other day because of that it's called oklahoma fishing and hunting guide news feeds i just did it myself and it's growing 
I'll get over there on that now. Yeah, a lot of guides are, especially crappie guides, they're posting on that. I see movement in that pile. Exactly. He's got the 40. Whoa. Whoa. Could be another catfish here. Better. Oh, easy, easy, buddy. Yeah, I got us another caddy. That are a five pound crappie. <laughs> He's got to see it. Yeah. I'm going to be a 30 pound crappie. I got a couple little roll on there. Well, he's fighting good though. I tell you, I have a lot of fun with these these catfish though. It's See in there? Feel how long they are? See that? I don't know how well. I don't know how well uh, these GoPros do up close, but surely. For all we know, it's the same one. <laughs> We probably still feed in the area. <laughs> there we go. Man, that was something. I'm telling you, that's quite the little fight. Those big, those are good eaters too. Yeah, they are. Well, obviously, a lot of people think they're a, more of a trashy end of the. So they're they're yellower. And they got a yellow look to them, but I haven't noticed that that affects the taste, taste of them. I actually think I might like them better than, because it seems like the, the blues are just, you know, almost tasteless. They are clear, that's for sure. But I guess, oh, uh oh, man. are we on a pack of catfish here or what? I think so, <laughs> I think so or a drum. Yeah, looks like our crappie fishing day is turning into a catfish day. Whoa, whoa. Oh, I got one too. Whoa. <laughs> uh, good one. Whoa, we are on a pack of catfish or something. Man, he's pulling some drag now. Whoa. Come back here, Boa. We are, we are flat on some catfish. Yeah, he does. He's a he's a fighter now. Hey, I put my uh, put my bait in a in a ten foot hole and just <laughs> big old channel. Much bigger than one. Just meaner, huh? A lot meaner. Well, that would be good if I lost the knife. That cost him an eye, did it? Yep. Cool. <laughs> nice one. There we go. Got him. Oh, it's a nice one. Yeah, we got us a good one. Oh, hang on there, Hoss. Hey, 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 enough with the acrobatics. That hook's been being out so many times. It's so small. I lost a good one the other day right here. And I'm still mad about it. I like to go away from it. Oh, man. Boy, they are aggressive. I'm telling you, they are attacking it now. They're out here waiting on something oh, to come through. I can't see. Oh, there you go. Oh, you're fine. Oh, ah. <laughs> a good one too. A little bit more to your right. Right there.
Oh, oh, you hit it. Whoa. Sand bass. But yeah, he's fighting like one. Oh, don't get in there. Come on, get out of there. Is it in it? Yeah, he got in there. Oh, it, it, it came back out. There we go. I'm keeping him. Oh, you bait. Yeah. Oh, don't come back over there again. Yeah, I want him first. I really want to get a few and freeze them. bass fishermen do that they put them they catch them and they put them in their live well and they'll change colors and then they'll pull them out for pictures once they color up real good oh dandy A slab. Yeah, hey, 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 hey. That's what you do when you retire, Mark. Man, I'm telling you. Turn into a I, that, guide and an old, old man hat and guide. That's what I want to be when I grow up. <laughs> I want to be you. I got behind it, didn't I? Yep. Where is he going up the timber to live scope? Who is that? I don't know. <laughs> it's two guys though, they're crocket fishing or they're a bass fishing tournament today. One or the other. He's decent. Whoa, oh, hang on, hang on. Whoa. Good. Wow, that's a monster. It's a big fish of the day. Look at that, dude. Beautiful. Wow. Let's see what we can. There's a dandy. Yeah. I was scared he was going to straighten your hook out. <laughs> I had that happen. <laughs> oh. Right here. oh, I forgot that you wanted to. I could, I could get up there and lift them things. I'd... There's one. That's a good one, too. Oh, yeah. There's some big boys in that one, isn't there? Yep. Wow. Nice. Like a school or something moving around in there. Man, they're moving quick in here. Sand bass. Yeah, they would come running in there. I think they were out in front a little bit. If I can get out there without getting, What's that? we'll see if I can get out there without getting hung. See if any of them sand bass want to take advantage of it up here. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's a sand bass or a catfish. Well, that's sand bass. Sand bass. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm glad I went out there after him. It's been tough getting bluegill at home uh, yeah. Just lately. This is what it looks like when you go fishing with a pro. Yeah. See here, <laughs> see here. There's a good one. There is a monster there. And, uh, this is a pretty good one too. I don't know, a couple of those. Like a bird that. Like a tree. There's another good one. That's another better one. Oh yeah. I'm just sitting Big boys. Here. Yeah. I'm telling you what, I haven't had a day like this in probably 20 years or more. I don't think I've even been around this many of them at once. What a beautiful bunch of slabs there. Holy cow. We can sit together. It's so beautiful. You and me. We meant to be.
take a step back to see the truth around you from a distance you can tell Sweet. 